Right, well, it must be uh, nearly two years since I have been up to visit you in Brisbane. Yep. Um, dude. And I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing here in this earth ship. Last time I was here, oh, I saw a big stack of tyres and a lot of enthusiasm, but not uh, the results, the polished results that I'm seeing now. Okay. And yeah, I was just blown away by his message. And I just, for days afterwards, just thought of the possibility. And it's just, it just grew from there. Like, it, it just goes in so many directions, doesn't it? Like, um, that's right. Yeah, forget about bloody. Yeah, using materials that society no longer needs. Yeah, you could think about you know, yeah, the pressure on young people these days to have a house. And yeah, this yeah. is kind of like an alternate pathway, isn't it? But these people are priced out of the market. They uh, are Australian real estate. No, well, the, and, and also other things as well. Like yeah, the the, uh, the wages are not really keeping up with the the cost of living, is it? And there's they so are, much no. pressure on yeah. the on households now that. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering if how how any person could uh, keep up with that sort of uh, yeah mortgage responsibility. Yeah, you know, so uh, for you, for example, to build this, are we talking a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars? How much would it, the materials have cost you to build this? Well, that's the whole point. I mean, right. the, the 150 tires, yeah, free. Ah, all the dirt, price, yeah. free. That's a good price. Yeah, um, really. What, what we're now talking about is concrete and steel. But yeah, um, you know, Mr. Mike Reynolds, uh, yeah, he went to the Philippines just yeah. to go through that cyclone ravaged country. Yeah. He actually managed to do build one without uh, using concrete and steel. So, oh, okay. yeah, the whole idea is to embed this thing into the earth and actually yeah. use the yeah the earth's temperature. So I'm not actually doing it right because I, okay. I haven't got the space to actually do that. But to put right. the berm up against. Yeah, these walls, you, you're really okay. tapping into the temperature of the earth. There. So this here would probably be the level of the ground normally? Yeah, normally, yeah. yeah okay. But uh, I'm hoping to come in here, particularly on a hot days in Brisbane, as yeah. uh, anyone who lives in Brisbane knows what that's like, yeah. and um, yeah, get out of the heat and, right. not, and not suck on the uh, air conditioning, which uh, unfortunately, is, yeah, yeah. yeah, us in 2015 were conditioned to have the air conditioner. Well, that's right. And as I stand here, uh, a man who lives in Canberra, not used to the extreme weather that you have here in Brisbane. Yep. I'm hearing a massive thunderstorm outside. Yes. But we feel very. Uh, there's not a drop of moisture. No. Uh, we're fully protected in this no, structure. Well, yeah. Forget about um, cyclone resistant. Yeah. We're talking uh, uh, fire Earth resistant plate. because it, 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 it's you don't, you don't actually need insurance on this thing. You, you're no, actually no. yeah survivor balloon nuclear bomb blast if <laughs> well, yeah, it survived, but it, well I've seen pictures of Hiroshima with structures pretty, almost the same as this that's right still standing yeah it's, um, it's because so of the curves okay like, yeah. yeah if you think of physics it just yeah. anyway that's another yeah, story that's another but story my yeah, main yeah. thrust is mm. is is basically an alternate pathway for young people and now uh, you know we looked a few years ago we saw a big movement of young people called Occupy yeah, and that was a, in a way the reaction they wanted to occupy public space because they're shut out of society. Yep. Now your young couple with their truckload of tyres and yep. their earth, would they maybe just go and occupy someone's property or uh, a public square and build their house? Um, how would that work? I'm, I'm not too sure how yeah, that would work. Uh, that would be the, the logical thing. We've now I think you you could obviously ramp this up. This is a you know, prototype. Yeah, there's no reason this couldn't be three, four times, five times bigger than this. Yeah, or it could be extended with sideways with similar structures joined together. Yep. Um, so all that the young couple are needing now is just some land to put it on. That's it. Have you come look at that aspect in your things, in your discovery, or you? Is that oh, it's, it's a work of oh, this yeah, whole yeah. this whole journey, as I yes, call it. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, that's yeah. that's a word we use in crisis counselling. Yeah. It's a, so it is very much a work in progress. But yeah. I mean, I have uh, looked at some land values around just around Brisbane. I mean, that's yeah. one thing we're blessed with in Australia. We've got yeah. plenty of land. That's right. Um, yeah. Some of it's drought stricken, but uh, I mean, if you really want to dig deep on the yeah. whole earthship, um, yeah, culture is that. Yeah, you know, it's all about. Yeah, capturing your own water. It's all about living off the grid. It's all about reusing water yeah. and having a different understanding about yeah you know, existence. Basically, all the basics right. like shelter, water, food. Yeah, it's it's got a complete completely different approach to our day to day lifestyle living in the city.
Because right, so you could actually crowdfund um, and, and get enough money to buy an acreage on the outskirts of a major city like Brisbane. Yes. And you could probably put 20 families on that, building you could. their own property. You could, you um, could do anything yeah. like that. That's, That's right, right. Yeah. split the costs of, of yeah. land purchase. But, yeah. I mean, again, you've got the problem with the council. I, I mean, I haven't got... Yeah, I mean, I um, uh, haven't, haven't worked out that problem. And okay. I just thought the important bit was to build the alternate build pathway. Stage one. <laughs> We're standing in stage one now. That's it. Yeah, and um, so as you point out, that we, you know, I think I'm happy with why you've done it now. And this leads into that you have a platform now yeah. for your other, uh, your, your wider interests. Well, I mean... I mean, I talked before, I mean, you're, you and I are from the 60s, remember? Yeah. You know, so we were very much into music, yeah. um, you know, the art form that is, yeah. you know, some of the great bands of the day, and we talked about Badfinger. Of course. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and that last scene in that, the movie on that TV series, Breaking Bad, and yeah. that sort of, re um, I really got to research some of that band, and I realised, yeah, I won't go through the whole story, but basically one of the, one of the reasons why those guys killed themselves yeah. was that they had poor poor um, role models. They had an yeah. older generation that was supposed to be looking after them, and in fact, instead they they would, the older generation exploited them, didn't they? And they, mm. they were seen as like, well, I say, guess I got what I deserved. Yeah, exactly. You know, and so th those guys ended up dying. Yeah, they did, yes. And uh, yeah, it was a rich middle-aged bloke who yeah. ran away with the millions, but yeah. you know, what's you know, that to me, it's very important for a middle-aged people to be more of a role model and to be more supportive of the younger generation coming through. Because at the end of the day, you know, as you know, as I go through sometimes in, in counselling, you know, we're all yeah. we're all connected in in some sort of way. You know, why why does it cost a place like Brisbane? Uh, it's probably the um, in, in terms of area, one of the largest cities in the world with quite a relatively small population, land should be dirt cheap. Why, it should is, be. It? Why yeah. is it not cheap? Those are all sorts of questions yeah. I'd like to ask. That's right. Yeah. They don't want necessarily, yeah, just get your job, yeah. pay your money, buy the product. Yes, yeah, some, some stuff we don't need, you know, get um, in a load of debt because that's, that's your right. life, mate. Well, yeah. there, you know, there are, as we've all heard, various conspiracy theories you know, that there's some people pulling the strings um, but without even uh, knowing whether that's true or not. It acts, it seems as if there is. Yeah. Uh, maybe there isn't, but it certainly gives you that impression. So, um, what is the answer? You know, you know, this is a start. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the beautiful yeah. thing, I still think yeah. Australia is, a, a, yeah, the lucky yeah. country. And so yeah. we can still make, yeah, a YouTube yeah. like this and we ask can. those sort of questions right. without having some goons come through the door. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, in the, um, as you were called in the film Brazil, around about now, you would have guys swinging through on uh, rice SWAT team, yeah. um, getting you in a headlock and taking you away to be uh, interrogated and tortured, then executed, and your pe uh, family given a bill for the bullet. Yeah. So we don't have that yet. No, but uh, complacency is a dangerous thing. That's right. Uh, Granny don't have it because we, to the extent we keep alert to that type of thing. So you're, you're correct. Uh, we only have to see Australia attempts to try to suppress the freedom of the internet, attempts to yep. ma manage to save every metadata that you use. Yep. So that, um, it anything could be used like against this, you. you could be confronted 10 years from now you could find yourself in a very small room yep. uh, with very unpleasant people asking you about this video and what you actually meant by it. Yeah. So luckily we don't have that and we wouldn't want to have it. So um, and this is something I think we learned from the 60s, as 60s generation, yeah, to, to we question. fought for freedom. Yeah. We weren't allowed to even grow long hair when we started. Yeah. And then we got to a point where uh, we changed how you could dress well, and that was resisted certainly in the 50s a young teenager was a clone of his dad yep they were even to the, down to the suit and a hat but they looked the same so the 60s i think you were very keen on music as well and that was well, i saw that as a uh, i mean you, you, there's uh, all these teachings in the yeah, music isn't yeah. there i mean i won't go into any specifics no, that, no. but but there's some, a few things i like from the 60s is, is it's it's yeah, people talk about feminism 
yeah. you know, and equal rights for women. But I see that as a hu as a human being. I see that yeah. as a humanist thing. Of right, course, yeah. yeah, women should have equal rights to men. And they well, there's without saying. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and I think that's now and that original message I think gets lost on a number of other things. I think there's a lot of skewed consciousness that that's doesn't right. actually want that to happen. I think that you know they want to have the good old days, but if yeah. you talk to my parents, the, you know, the, yeah. some of those good old days weren't actually all that good. Well, no, they weren't. Well, certainly not the the fifties weren't, and yeah. the forties before them, or the forties were obviously not very pleasant. Yeah, with world wars, but the fifties uh, were a time of austerity. Yep, and the sixties was when the the, the boom. Yeah, things just well, started cool, changing, yeah. and that's why I think that's our responsibility. Yeah. Is that um, yeah, I've now created yeah, a, it's like a visitor centre, isn't it? It's like it a is. centre of that's excellence right. for yeah. people coming in through the back door there, you know, and we yeah. can talk and discuss about those stories, you yeah, know, and we can be, have some relevance. That's right. Uh, in 2015, to the new generation come through, and I suppose that's yeah, that's not me talking down to another person. That's no. me sharing, you know, yeah, my point of view and then hearing their point of view yeah. and through that interweaving, I mean it's counselling 101, through that uh, connection, that union, yeah. Yeah, people start getting a different perspective on life. And That's what you need, this is right. Well, oh well, can we put a wrap on this? Thanks uh, for you coming, mate. Right, okay, yeah. It's good to see you and uh, we're going to have a bit of fun tonight at oh, the old right, yes. uh, Akadaka concert. Yeah, that's right. Old, cheers, Ership fans. Right, okay, see you later.